Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer. I'm a hand reader of many, many years. I teach and I consult. I consult online. If any of you would like to during this awful lockdown period to reach out to me, send me photographs of your hands. You're so welcome. Uh, my fee will be reduced for the period. Just contact me. Um, you'll find my email address below and let's get chatting and perhaps I can support you in any challenges you might be facing during lockdown. I'm coming to you from beautiful Ramsgate, which is in the south coast, or known as the south coast of South Africa, even though it's actually on the east coast. It's in the province of KZN, KwaZulu-Natal, and it's quite the most beautiful part in the world. We are locked down in terms of we're not allowed onto the beach, which is quite challenging. But this is the view from the window from where I'm sitting. I'm in my friend's home, and I have, there are definitely many advantages of being locked down in this top part of the world. Although I didn't expect to be sharing YouTube videos with you from here, but now being stuck here, I'd like to pursue and continue with my series of tutorials. I find it very fascinating how deeply we can delve into the various patterns and markings and features of hands, and really how each one is like a portal through which to enter. And it can reveal that so many topics, so many counseling and coaching topics that could be explored during the conversation. Of course, the big rule in hand reading is never to take one marking in isolation. In this series, though, we don't have too much of a choice. It would be far too vast to try and cross-reference to every other variable that would give a permutation on the theme of the meaning of that particular marking. But with double loops on thumbs, that's the dermatoglyphic pattern, the glyph pattern, as I like to call them, it certainly gives quite a big scope of possibilities. So let's jump right in. The double loop pattern in dermatoglyphics is known as a composite loop. That means that it's composed of two patterns, in this case two loops that intertwine to give the appearance of a yin-yang and two triradii support, one on either side of the double loop. As you can see in this image, there are arrows pointing to the position of the triradii. They're not very clear in the image, but that is where you'll find the triradii. If any of you don't know what a triradius is, please refer back to the tutorial on tented arches on thumbs where I explained what a triradius is. As I've shared so often, our thumb tips represent our volition, our determination, our purposeful direction, how we assert ourselves, how we present our gifts to the world and our energies to the world. And of course, the double loop being governed by water is going to have some significant influence on how that plays out. When the theme of determination is pertinent in a reading, uh, we really want to be looking at the dermatoglyphic of the tip of the thumb to determine how it influences the will of the person. And we're going to break it down now into the various levels. Water is the strongest element scientifically. It's a known fact. Water will destroy anything in time. And sustained perseverance is an earth quality. So together we could say that people with double loops on thumbs might be very likely to manifest their desire. And uh, water, which seeps into everything, water of course governs the pattern, the two loops, water governed, and the, uh, the sense of perseverance that might go with that gives us that particular profile of possibility. Of course, that is more likely with a stiff thumb, a firm thumb, and a strong long thumb. If the thumb, on the other hand, is looking wishy-washy, it's malleable, it's short, and we have a double loop there, then we've got a little bit of a different scenario. It could be, the, in fact, the polar opposite. For this person, their willingness is not the problem, but the challenge for them would be around the sustainability, around harnessing and applying their will, and also around sticking with their decisions. Visually, the pattern looks like a wishy-washy. It's as if those loops are shifting and swinging this way and that, like being in a washing machine of uncertainty, of vacillation, of ambivalence, will I, won't I, can I, can't I, should I, shouldn't I. And that kind of uncertainty could definitely have some impact in the harnessing of the will for the person. That would be a big topic in that conversation. On the water level of how to interpret the double loop on a thumb, there's definitely an added emotional sensitivity. And water always aspects idealism. There's a high standard and could be very exacting for the person. Which means if they don't reach their goals or they don't attain their own idealistic standards, that could come with a certain moodiness, it could come with despair, depression, uh, self-doubt again would come through here and even confusion, feelings of disappointment, of being drained, um, even could pull towards evasive escapism, that's another possibility here. Everything of course so significantly relates so much to the rest of the hand, I keep saying that but it's clear, I hope you understand that 
the significance of that. We're just feeling around for possibilities in this presentation. So the double loop could show, on, especially on a weakish thumb, that the person has doubt in what they do and the way they action in the world. And it's as if everything possibly that they aspire to sort of descends into disaster. Think of a huge tidal wave crashing over, rushing back again, and then they aspire, aspire, aspire again, and then suddenly it descends into disaster again. And this could be a pattern that plays out in their lives. On the fire level, which pertains to the person's career, we might find that they are happiest in jobs that call on their charm, call on their persuasiveness. There's something very accommodating about the water element. So we could think towards hospitality, possibly. Another quite common finding is that those who are working in the dramatic arts have double loops on their thumbs. And then it's often seen on the hands of true psychics. Again, water being the most sensitive, it's also the most powerful, as I mentioned, but the most sensitive element, that's another scientific fact. Therefore, many true psychics, those who douse and use pendulums and so on, might very likely have double loops on their thumbs. On the air level of how the presence of double loops on thumbs may play out in the owner's psyche, here we have, it's very clear, actually almost on a visual, you could see this person will play the devil's advocate. They'll have a strong sense of justice. There's going to be a dislike of biased opinion. This could be the sign of the sincere mediator and negotiator. However, they could get quite emotionally involved in terms of plumbing the depths of any given situation that they're involved in. And law and human rights might be a strong call for people with double loops on thumbs. Such and lastly, on the chi level, which pertains to the person's religious and spiritual life, it's fairly unlikely that they'll be hardcore, mainstream, religiously oriented. More likely that they'll be spiritual in their orientation, very open, go-with-the-flow type attitudes to spirituality and philosophy. Just as we might choose a tattoo to inscribe on our body that's symbolic of something very personal, we could consider each dermatoglyphic to be like a type of a, t a tattoo that is really inscribed on us by existence. And the double loop, by nature of its yin-yang appearance, holds in its core or holds in its symbology the suggestion of balance. And I would say that the person with double loops on their thumbs from a spiritual perspective are reminded that they have the capacity within them to find balance. Don't forget to contact me if you'd like a reading. As I said, my fee is dramatically reduced. Please just email me, jen at cairo.coza. I'm here for you. I know a lot of you are suffering out there under the lockdown circumstances. And what better time, really, to have a little peep into your hands to see where to from here for you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next week when the topic will be peacock's eyes on thumbs, that very rare and very exquisite dermatoglyphic marking. We very seldom see them on thumbs, and I'll be sharing on that next week. Bye for now.